Happily Shay G'day folks and welcome to my next episode of Mo Carrot. Yay! If you uh, came along from last episode, you would have seen that it was my Sea Biscuit episode. The episode where I started uh, breeding the special horses. Well, the first part of it anyway. Since the last episode, uh, I didn't want to bore you guys with the uh, the horny horse details. I have bred the zebra. Zebra. With the horse again, Muggsy and Mini Biscuit have been going at it hammer and tongs. Uh, as you can see, I've uh, I've built more of a stable here. So these guys have been breeding like crazy. Uh, that's why I'm just leaving them in private. And I have got um, <laughs> while I'm having I'm always having door problems. Um, I have got each member of my um, carrot subscriber group. I believe, if I am not mistaken. Except Doof. Doof isn't a part of my carrot subscribers. He's just special. That's why he's there. So we've got Dingo Dan. Dingo Dan's in here. Sniper. We have Sniper as well. And my special little girl, because she's been so um, uh, so polite. She just popped herself in this pen and all. This is Tara Grace. So uh, she's definitely going to be, she's going to be a, a fairy horse in the end as well. I reckon I'll make the boys... Uh, the unicorns and that, but yeah, Tara Grace definitely has to be a fairy horse. Still haven't got a name tag, so Dark Lord, um, you, you know that's you. Rusty Ranger, the legend that ended up getting my cow horse for me, and of course, Sly, the famous cow horse. There he is. So that's the update. I have actually got the horses, but that's not what we're doing this episode. What today's episode is about... Um, is about the extra mods. It's the mods episode today. Yay! Now, one of the ones I have been wanting to show you guys for a while, and I do believe I've already told you that it is a part of this series, is the Bibliocraft, because um, I like furniture. Now, this is my first example of what Bibliocraft can do. Yay, armor stands. This is actually pretty much the only reason I got the Bibliocraft, because I really wanted the armor stands. And you can get, like... Um, uh, sword stands and stuff like that as well. So that is a start. We might do some, some furniture making today. But as I have a look in my mobs drop chest. Mobs drop? Mob drops chest. I need... Uh, I actually don't remember which way it goes. So I'll try... It's one of them. And it's one of them. And I know it's one of them. And logically, I reckon it should be one of them. And I know I already had two there, but I'm just thinking in the terms of... Shut up. Don't judge me. Uh, okay. So, three of them. Wait. And three of them. So, I totally got that around the wrong way. Anyway, <coughs> why would I think that the binding would cover the book? Of course, the book covers the binding, or the paper covers the... Anyway, moving on. Does anybody anybody know what I'm doing? Anybody? Anybody out there? Look at that! I has the fam guide. Get out of the way, meat. Yay, fam guide! Now I only have six points of uh, six XP, but let's see what we can do with said fam guide. Boom! Look, Chuck Norris. Oh, yeah! Roundhouse kick to the face. Right. Let's go, because I know which one I want. We'll, we'll end up going through all these guys, but this isn't a tutorial, um, so I'll choose the one. Is that the one I want? That is the one I want. That is the one I want. Equip you. <gasps> Why didn't that cost me anything? Okay, because it just didn't. Chuck Norris costs something. Okay, I'm not going to, I'm not going to judge. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna question it. Look, I just got a fairy. I got a little fairy. Now, with that, there was a episode a while ago where I said I was going to go on an adventure. Uh, let me just eat because I am hungry. Sorry, fairy. I was going to go on an adventure down into a ravine. I don't know why I got that around the wrong way, but that's all right. Do I still need the fam guide on me to keep you? Hmm. Let's just do that anyway. All right. All I'm going to do is just take a little bit of wood, and we're going to go and find that old ravine. So, if you guys remember, this is the place where those three gators were. 
a few episodes ago when I um, had no idea that gators don't drop eggs. And this is the ravine. So, let's just do this. Because I has a fairy. Yay! Ooh, lava still burns. Okay. In the corner. That's uh, not o overly exciting. There, there. This is the whole reason we've come down here. Now, I do know with the um, biomes, oh, plenty, but there's different stuff. There's different gems and bits and pieces. Now, this is Malachite. Oh, there's some more. Okay, so it's not... Oh, God, there's loads. Is that actually Malachite as well? Hang on. It's just dark in here, so I'm not quite sure. Derp, derp. Yes, it was. Okay, so that's what Malachite looks like in the dark. Malachite, I do believe, is a ingredient that's... Oh, God, it isn't rare, is it? It's an ingredient that's used in those wizardy, wandy things, which I haven't quite figured anything out about them yet. Um, but while I'm here, we should collect. So that was extremely boring. Um, I maybe should have investigated that ravine before taking you guys down there, but I'm guessing uh, post-edit and this is me saying it pre-edit, that I have cut everything out except me finding the Malachite. Because uh, there was nothing down there. Nothing. And we've also figured out the downfall to having the fairy. Oh, shiz. Is uh, coming across skeletons. Trying to... If they, if they knock you back with one arrow, trying to land to run at them, to hit them again, is a bit of a biatch. So let's just... Um, Run back home, deposit our Malachite, and change our game plan for the day. So let's have a look in our fam guide, shall we? Let's open fam guide. Uh, I don't think a roundhouse kick is going to come in handy for what I'm planning on doing. Uh, blah, blah, blah. Next, no. The companion cube. No. Enderman. Hang on, let's just flip back a page so you know what it is. Don't need a teleport. That's what I've already got. Herobrine. Mobs, no. Oh, Navi, cute, but no. Notch, nice one, dude. Ocelot, no. Here she is, Rana. Right. How do we get Rana? Costs 7 XP, which I have. Unlock and equip. Rana, tell me we've got Rana. Look at that. Look at that little Rana. Look at the little froggy girl. All right. So the plan is, seeing as that, um, and I'm just going to chuck this stuff here in an empty chest. Actually, I want that. Uh, and let's just put that there. And organizing stuff. Um, seeing as that ravine was really suck ass, I'm going to go on a adventure with Rana. Alright, what would I need to tame a baby elephant? I need sugar cane. I got it wrong last time I spoke about the elephants because I thought it was actually the reeds, which is like bamboo. But it's not. It's general sugar cane. So this is a... Well, I guess you're an adolescent. You're definitely not a fully grown, but you're not a baby. Um, excuse you. I wonder if... I really don't want to have to tame you at night. I wonder if I could still possibly tame an adolescent. Oh, desert. We haven't come across a desert yet. Come on, it's a little bit of sugar cane. Damn it. Just a little bit. Yes, I knew there'd have to be some. And we'll go back and see what we can do about... See, taming the elephant is one thing. Getting it back home is going to be another far greater struggle. The struggle is real, my friends. The struggle is real. Oh, no. I didn't mean to look at you, Mr. Enderman. Oh, good. You bug it off. 
He's going to chase me. I know it. I did apologise. Ooh. Well, that's one of the big iron golems. Uh, did he just seriously despawn? I think he did. Ow. Let's find that elephant. I've just had a thought, guys. Because this is definitely the baby, right? That's a little baby one. I've got a feeling that it's not... Damn it, I need... Damn it, I have no wood. It's not sugar cane. It's sugar cubes. Let me just quickly make a crafting bench before I'm in this chunk enough that that little elephant there starts growing up. can have that back. I don't need one. Where I'm going? Sugar lumps. Seven of them. Fingers crossed. Come on, little guy. You know you want to come home with me? Damn it. It's ten. It's ten, isn't it? Ah! I think mushroom stew is another way as well. That's just 34. Ugh, still not going to be enough if I have to start it from the beginning. Let's have another little bound around this lakey area. Would love to cheat and turn fly on. But if I did that, I may as well cheat and just spawn in an elephant for myself. Wouldn't be such a bad thing if I found another little baby elephant here somewhere. Uh, at least make hello cows. Yes, hello. Make another crafting bench here. It's going to be funny. There's going to be a million and one crafting benches all over this map in various places. Ten. All right. Let's try and find... <gasps> here we go. Fantastic. Can you? Will you be mine? I don't even know what I'm going to call it yet. Wait, don't run away. I'm feeding you. Be nice. Yes! Horton! <laughs> Horton, you're my little elephant. Right, now I'm going to have to build him a quick enclosure because from what I've read, may not be true, let me know down in the... Um, in the comments below guys that a tamed elephant is really really vulnerable uh, to the nasty mobs especially things like scorpions which are inclined to climb over enclosures hey Horton so I'm actually going to have to build him a quick enclosure I'm gonna have to go back home get my lead and lead him back to my house which is gonna suck balls guys it's gonna suck greatly so as I'm getting crept up on by a cow Creepy cow. I'm not going to put you guys through all the rigmarole of trying to get Horton back to my house. Because um, I will have to protect him here while I go back to the house, get a lead, bring it back here, blah, blah, blah. Uh, but you guys will see Horton back at home in the next episode of Mo Carrot. So thank you for joining me. I hope you've enjoyed it. Any comments below, leave a like because you know I love it. And last but not least, say good day to your neighbour. <laughs>